Sir, we are out to visit McConaughey's because they got some new shiny metal. Connor wanted to see the shiny metal. Connor's all like, oh, John, John, we've got to see the shiny metal. It's red, it's got one axle and it's shiny. We're using this as an opportunity to uh, train our new people. Rachel's going to be on cam, Kyle's going to be on camera. But the big news today, people, the big news is On The Pole is coming back 2023. We are having On The Pole. More about that later. What the? Any reason why you should be looking up at me in the cab? Pay for 10 foot there, son. At least we didn't come here for one angle. Aye, oh, that us? Oh. <laughs> Who's the dream team, Perry? And tell you the day. Ah, uh, there's there's Norris and Stephen Hanna and a wee fella Joe. Tiny's not about now. Tiny's no. Tiny never will come to Slurry. Keep safe enough, man. <laughs> I can't believe it's only ten past ten and you're plastered already. Aye. <laughs> Are you only a new start here then, too, right? Yeah, I started last week. Just three out of the deep end. Yeah. And I was just like, no bar, I'll step up in here and we'll get a good yard and I'll be fine. Well, what's the story of the day? Well, I were at Raymond Christie's here at Slurry, uh, just outside our boy, left beside the Dark Ages there. Yeah. What is that about? A new toy? How about a new toy? Yeah, I should come maybe two weeks ago now, yes, we were second week out. Aye, uh, she's a good job now. She's a far hander and uh, a chiller. A half pint chiller, you know. Aye, that's what you were working with before. I was, Connor, I am. She was 14 tonnes, she held one load or that, and the tankers maybe queuing up a wee bit longer, and now the man had two loads dumped into that thing, and two tankers away on to fill it again. And yes. It speeds the whole process on by the time that third tanker's empty, and then boys ready to go, you know. Uh -huh. Aye, you'll have to do a turn now. Aye, not <laughs> too often I do a turn now. <laughs> 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 From what I can see, slurry season has started fairly well oh, for everybody. Like I, I started the first day, hey, you never, never, never stopped. Do you? Usually February you get a day or two, and you're maybe sat in ten well, days. And them men uh, that, that are liking to hold back usually to March, are they coming on? Oh, or? they're coming on. No, I, I looking at the weather. Uh, I look on the weather and getting out while the grounds and shit. But I, I, I'd say another week or ten days and I'll be over. I would think a big part will be all over. I would think. Yeah. Oh, I. I suppose like you don't notice much pressure like but would you notice it from him if the pressure's on? From Andrew? Yeah. Oh no, Andrew's cool. Andrew's very cool head at night. The contractor just gets it all the time like. Uh, yeah, I know they do, I know they do. If it was me like my head would be turned like I... <laughs> is it just him or is there brothers that uh, has? There's just well it's just him and his father and the grandfather. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, Jurassel, he's in the diggers. He's got, he's got a couple of diggers. He's never. He's never he, on this side of things. No, he doesn't do anything to do with us here now. That bowler's having to fill the feeder at the minute, so it does. All right. Well, what was the crack with Robert this morning? You're showing me a video. <coughs> I made him when other fellas were in the Jeep ready to go to this place a day and next time we come around the front and there was Robert, he was out the feeding, tearing away at the feeding and... Oh! Well, it's Anna and it goes out the other side. <laughs> no, he didn't! And Norris just happened to be there at the right time. <laughs> ah, it's all good fun, everybody has the banter. Like yeah. everybody. You don't do anything wrong. Yeah, the whole world will know about it. I never realised you and Robert sort of grew up together, or that you're sort of near the ah, same age. I, I've been about there for years. <laughs> same age. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe a year younger. Well, you've never worked anywhere else? This is the never, only place you've never, worked? Never, never, never been anywhere else, no. Never full time, no. Maybe we helped other people a day here and there, but yes. that was that, no. Well, you never get tired of the tractor driving like? I would get tired of road work back there now, but in the lake of this here, no, I'm happy enough at this. Yeah. I would sow the barley, I would sow the most of the, the barley and stuff they want past, yes. I'm happy enough at that. So how long have you been working here for? I don't know, 15 years. 15 years? Maybe. Maybe. What have you done wrong to the world? <laughs> Just didn't let Andrew hear you say that. <laughs> Do you not find your back being wild sore bouncing up and down no. the road, Lee? No. As long as she's blue. 
That's the main thing. She, she, she's no Stop. fan. She's no fan now. <laughs> she's no fan now. But she'll hate you do. But that's why they're the work duds, because they're they're all right to get covered in. <laughs> you leave the good ones at home. <laughs> ones with the, the better brand. <laughs> you want to bail into these, would you? Oh yeah. Would you? Huh? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh there. Uh, I'll maybe ask Andrew for a job again, since I'm doing all the work here. Aye. Sure. Maybe let me away in the evenings. <laughs> Maybe more. To all these women you're saying is that? Aye, oh, hey, you're wing gathering up there. Oh, I would say that <laughs> after your, your stunt in the last episode. Aye, oh, I know where I go with the man like that, so I hear you're that boy off Fernflex. I suppose that's better than you're the boy off Coronation Street. Oh, aye, yeah, oh, that's, that's well out the one that I saw. They're not too caring how you, I got the name Norris now. Oh. No. Well, did you get a girlfriend from the last episode? <laughs> There's a wee nothing to rest, aren't there? <laughs> just, uh, I just don't think there was a official girlfriend, you know. Yes, okay, okay. There was a stage there that was wild, little, but no, it's sort of drying up, but you're going to start it again, I think. <laughs> uh. He has some size. Like, whenever he came down the road, I was going, what is that? <laughs> to be on only one axle, like. She's not, she's not sat on it, like. Yeah, I know. You know she's sat on the ground, so you can't put any on her. She has to be empty, you know, whenever you're transporting her. Aye, and then she'd be lighting off, like, would yeah. she? Yeah, oh, aye. But whenever she's full there with the M3 in her, she's meant to be about 60 tonne. Whenever she's sitting full. So she has. Aye, you wouldn't need to start towing her anyway. No, <laughs> no, no. Empty now. We don't want a lot lying in that thing. And there we go, yeah. So you finish the job and there's a thousand gallons or something. Like, can you drive down the road with that thousand gallon in her? Or would it splash up around her or what? No, oh, I'd say it'd be a sore. Uh, once you go to the left, that you know, you can bend it. Yes. I would think. Oh, yeah, yeah. But if you did have to suck a load or something out here, there's bats on her there, you can. Yes. Oh, so you would actually, whenever I come to the end of it, you would actually suck whatever's in her out again? No, no, if you had to, you know. Oh, all right, right. If you had to, you'd set up for that here. Did that, was that one there for the for the 1st of February, or did you only just get it? We just started to use it about maybe a week ago now. A week or ten days ago, no, your young the fella, up there. Um, young Bartlett made Andrew, it, so, oh, so it wasn't he just ready, well, Andrew and them pinned it, Andrew pinned it oh, himself, right. yeah. aye, so. No, this is well finished, that thing too. Ah, it's a tidy job now. Sort of painted that red rock colour scheme too, to blend up the slurry tankers, ah. you know, too. Well, what tankers did you have just before the red rock? That uh, was herons. Uh, up there, if you want, hold up. Two thirty-five hundred herons and two twenty-five hundred herons too, and then the herons they were there brave while, and the twenty-five hundreds they maybe done a couple of seasons, and then they were changed at the same time. Once mm -hmm. the red rocks come, the whole thing was changed at once, you know. And what was the theory behind changing them? Or oh, I don't really know. Maybe they keep everything sort of the same, you know. They'd be fussy that way, like they'd be fussy. Aye, I like. know oh, they like everything sort of. Matching. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad way either, it sort of looks well at oh, the same tidy, time. Aye, 100%. Yeah. Aye. Well, do you see any output left because of it? When he would set it down there and I'd be reeling out, the tankers would get emptied and get away quicker and they would be back quicker. For him, the thriller only held a load or a little more and then the other tanker was sat and waiting until you were going. Well, if she was sitting full to the neck and you're waiting and you started pumping, how long would it take you to get her red? Well, she holds, I think she holds the most of the three loads there if she was sat on dead level, near enough the 12,000 gallon. So, I'm sure that's half an hour nearly. Uh, like, uh, you know, if you're pop, well, you're pop around 29, so it's 20 minutes anyway if you're in a good big field. So it is. Too soon to get her into any tricky wet spots or any height, any no, upper places yet? No, no. <laughs> Try and keep her in the hard, just, yeah. uh, no, I don't think she's designed just for... <laughs> she's super singles or what's she on? She's on the, uh, is it them 560 tyres, but you've more or less just been the sideways to her there. Oh, there's a few boys here that's been here a long time now, yeah. Most contractors, like, can hardly get anybody to come. Ah, through, they come and like, go. Ah, there's yeah. a lot of young boys then they'll clear off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were ever for a year, a couple of years, but a lot of boys seem to stay here already. Must be paying you, well, The it's money's unreal. Say, the money's unreal. I would take a couple of pound less, you know, for as long. Oh, oh, we'll have to tell them. We'll have to tell them. I love the one. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? There, I would nearly, I would nearly take a couple of less, like. What are you going to do on that Friday? Completing all these girlfriends here. You talking about all the other ones? Oh, I don't know. I'm on bowler. I think. Yeah. 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 Just you, just you let me know, I'd maybe soft talk a lot of the <laughs> day. Yeah. Oh, it be interesting, I enjoyed that last video you've done too, hey. Oh, it was a real good video. Turned out well, didn't it? Turned out right well, aye. 
Get on the bandwagon. Get online. If you're not currently if you're not currently subscribed, get onto the website. Get subscribed. Watch our content. Plus the two blogs from Bayer. Oh, that's right. I forgot about them too. I mean, you forgot. Forgot about them blogs. Hey. So they were better than the episode. Oh, I didn't hear a word. <laughs> that's whenever. That's where all the the, the nonsense happened. That's what Tiny got his touch up. That's what the Jeep got the touch. Never mind Tiny. Well, I still think it was your fault that day. <laughs> <laughs> He's still going to Oh, I just had that day. No, no, it wasn't my fault. Some people just want to watch the world burn. You don't farm any yourself at home? I do a bit. I keep my bean of cattle, I. What kind of cattle do we have? Just beef cattle. I would just I'd buy them somewhere in 10 months to a year out and then finish them. Just breeding stock doesn't they sit when you're away there, so. Yes. And uh, I used to lamb them sheep, but I could go to be it was a nightmare. You're, you're away all day wondering about them. <laughs> So I just uh, fought and win the lambs and the one other time and then I run a win a hug at you or buy you lambs and run the murphy hug at you. Just, okay. so. Everything they need money on, that's what I'm doing. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Everything they need money on, John. It's very tiny you up here last year now. Uh, I was going to say, like, did, did he know we were coming before now? <laughs> no. I, this is where you get all your flashy moves and, you know, on a real tight yard. This is that. You know what you're doing now. And everyone will be like, he's some operator that body there. He's, we'll have to get him gathered up for our fleet, that's it. That's here's where it's home to hear you see. You know how far you're going back here. Now. Yeah, there's nothing as bad as being in the wrong spot. Well, did you go and buy this uh, boiler set especially for us then? Or? No, 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 no. That's the one I always wear. I've never seen you in one before. I. They're always too dear, Connor. Oh. Well, no, they're a brave price. <laughs> right, okay. You should have went on and bagged the counter and said, you know who I am. You know who I am, who I work to. <laughs> on the poll is happening in 2023. It is happening in August 2023, but it is a ticket only event. Connor's going to ask me, why is it a ticket only event? Why is it a ticket only event, John? <laughs> <laughs> because. The last time we ran it, it's really, really hard to organise if you don't know how many people are coming. You have to overspec things just in case a lot of people turn up. So this time, I'm only going to organise for the amount of people that come. So the goal is 1,000 tickets sold. That is all I need to make the event viable and on the poll is going to happen. So we're going to sell tickets in March. We'll be telling you about the deadline. More and more as it time More and more as it approaches. Anyway, if you think you want to be on the poll, um, it'll be an all-day event. We're going to try and put through at least 100 polls up the track. Um, we have a lot of the organisation already prepped, so it's going ahead. Um, come and support it. Well, did you ever dribble by dribble bar without the GPS? Oh, that's my, year, that's my first year. That's my first year there. Right. <laughs> it was a nightmare. With once the waiter dribble bar come, it was a pure nightmare. When you're working on long grass, you see no. Same as sowing fertilizer, you're just nearly wasting your track. Would an overland do much harm all of a sudden? Oh. Just the luck of the thing. Just the luck of the thing. I'd no do a lot of her. No, really. No, I didn't. Before the GPS come, there were plenty of overlaps. Or <laughs> <laughs> maybe misses too. <laughs> but I got, you know, if you wanted to finish off at dark there, uh, it was impossible. Yes. Oh, you know, you're on a clue where you're at. You just start one side of the field and just straight it? I'm mostly just that way. And if it was a very big field, I might start in the middle. So you want to be dragging your pipe too much to. If you're in a very big field and you started at one ditch, by the time you get to the other ditch, you would find you'd be dragging okay. your pipe far too much. So okay. If you start in the middle, at least it, it shares your, your pipe up the middle, it shares to both sides, you're, you're in the same drag on. Something I've never done. Um, That's like everything else. It, you learn you you learn, you learn by your mistakes. Do you all shape fields likely to learn you? The one thing you don't do, you don't tow the pipe without air or slurry on it. So. <laughs> That's the most important thing. Okay. <laughs> Or she just roll empty notes with you. <laughs> well, she done plenty of rounds on Facebook, I think. She seemed to be, she was all over Facebook there for about a week and a half, two weeks, like. Aye, she was popular now, yeah. Aye, a lot of folks sharing it. A lot of ones were looking to come out and take photos of her. And she was even on TikTok for the minute she was. Oh, was she? She, aye, Philip Burley, he has her own, uh, on his uh, TikTok page from the minute she was started to she was finished there. The whole process of it. No, I was interested to see how much work I actually went into this sort of thing. Well, what sort of price is one of them things? I couldn't even tell you. I, it's, but it's 20,000, with 25,000 get you, I want her. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to get by there, I think you'll be tight now, to be honest, hey? Nope. I ain't getting by there. She may reverse buy it. That's how I don't take her Weimar off now. <laughs> I'll look well on the camera. <laughs> so it would. 
Aye, them big tankers are ignorant enough down some of them roads. Aye, they're just wide enough too. Mm. Many years of you them. This is their second season now. Well pleased with them. Aye, there's a lot of these red rogues getting about the country. Aye, they seem to be a popular tanker again, you know. What size are these? These are 4,000, so they are with the overhead booms on them and the DCA arms, and then they have um, hydraulic fill on them too. Yes. And then there is a shaft, there is a PTO shaft still on them, and we just use that for the DCA arms. Uh, so we do. Well, the likes of the day when you know you're going to a job with just the boom, would you not take it off and see if catch it at all? Or? No, not really. Just. They're always handy to have on there, you know, if you. If you couldn't, if maybe if that air nurse tank touch wood doesn't stop going or something touch wood it doesn't and we have pots on the side there, the whole thing can just keep going. Yes. You know, throw a pot off and use that arm and you're still going while that they were trying to sort out a, a problem or something like that. So we will he be at this stereo until silage time? No, the trailer work I'll say probably next week. We back next week we'll probably finish the trailer work, we'll think then a bit. That's that's kind of a short span for what I would call a, a big investment. Like, oh, well, there's a, couple, there's a couple of months out of there, nearly. Yeah. So there as well. You get a wee bit after the first cut, you get a lot of direct pumping. Yeah. So well, they started to sew there already. So I know everybody's everything's starting to kick yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just Straight up and down there, oh, and there, don't they? Oh, you know, I'm uh, cruising across. No, you're not really, you know. Uh, Half an hour. Uh, I bet that you're not that long, uh, no. Oh, yeah, some rush away on time. That's yesterday. right. 500 GPS, it'd be longer, you should be over that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you don't, it, you don't bother, like, go back up to the headlamp site around the gun. I want to bat, bat when I'm blowing out the air there, mate. Uh, Sometimes a, a, Tyre, big, a big feeling never really bothered. You made my day, Robert. Your face was as red as your That's hair. That's a wee bit of a moment for a laser sword. <laughs> <Yeah, that. laughs> She's quite aggressive there whenever you flick oh, out. She like. has, though. Oh, she's her own thing. <laughs> she will, like. <though>, right. <laughs> she's not for hanging about. She's not for hanging about, right? There's a cup of tea down the bottom <laughs> there, but she's filled it out. <laughs> I thought one was taking photos of you there. Oh, that's me, it was. I seen her whispering the husband, there's a there's an RSL farm oh, hey, There's a star man. <laughs> Do you have your own tractors? Do you yep. get into the yard and go, that one's mine? Yeah. See that number that's three? Cute. See that number three? Where? The bottom of the tanker. Oh right, okay, yes. That's that's the tanker I got brand new. So it is. I got, it, got it two years ago in February past. So if something goes wrong, it's your fault. My fault if something happens there. If there's a big dent in it then oh. I'm the only man to blame for it. Does everybody get their own tankers, or are you just... I will, aye, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, me and Norris, the old Callum there, was there. he seemed to have kept their own two tankers. Joe here, he's a newcomer to the tanker. Uh, he looks young. He's not got 15 years experience behind him. No, definitely, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> so you need to be working with this... You need to be with them sort of tankers, like, yeah. see you now. You need to know what you're at. You couldn't just have somebody fresh. No. Oh, I'm like. But then that's good on Andrew, like to kind of trust you to get the job done, like. We always deliver, the man says. The ego is the rife. <laughs> uh, you, you nearly need to run a four wheel drive to get these tractors to go, oh, like. Stuffed. Stuffed. I hey, think like. it's the driver. See ya. <laughs> if I was in the set, there'd be no water, no issues. Let the challenge begin sure, then. Sure, sure, I'll uh, take her up the road we'll again. The challenge begin, <laughs> sure, we'll do that then after this. <laughs> and you can drive her back again then so you can, and we'll see what way it works if you can get her in and reverse into the. Do you have to be in like a specific place for that there to be booming in right? Well, see, there's bars, you see every, every upright there? Yeah. There's a bar going across that. Okay. You know, like a strengthener bar going okay. across that, so if you're shot over the top of that, then it's, yes. it's coming out around her. So if you can keep and if you can keep between each section there, but just all open top then apart oh, from the whole thing's open. Like? Aye, it's just that it's just that three inch. That's how it is. So how come all of these come to this end? If it doesn't matter. It's better at this end if it's down at the far end. Then it starts to agitate the pump. Then at the far end, you know it's sitting, it's pounding down into the pump at the front. Yeah. Then he's not getting the right the tree, the tree reading out in the field. Then you know it's sort of. 
throwing air into him a wee bit. Upsetting his happiness. It's upsetting snow and we didn't want to upset his <laughs> Now he can get very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Raymond says, Raymond, he says to Claire, I, you're the star, you're the star of uh, YouTube. Claire, he goes, I, nor so, he shouldn't take it all off. That's the superstar there. <laughs> You would have made Snowy's day, see you with a... I'm telling you. You would have made Snowy's day. You'd actually have made Norris's day, like. I make everybody's you day. You make everybody's day. Hey, you can near stay with me all day and put the pipes on for me. I just stand there and put the pipes on for everybody. Oh, wow. Oh. Here's them things down to Yenny. That's blocking the maester, I think. Was it? Not at all. Maybe it's the wind comes in and blows him. Did you notice him down there before, no? Oh, because I wasn't even paying much heed to him, to be honest with you. Oh, so you're supposed to be looking that rear mirror. Oh, oh boy. Aye. That bus, Stephen. Watch that bus. <laughs> yeah, all that bus is miles away from me, Alan. Uh, I feel just a it. Right, you want her? No, I don't want her. What? Go, go! <laughs> I thought you were... <laughs> he would drive to this corner and be like, Stephen, swap. <laughs> Start of the buses now, boy. <laughs> Old party wagon, Snowy. Old party wagons. We're rushing into the hedges. Oh, he's for reading the bath. Yeah, uh, instead of your Land Rover, the a bus the other day. That would look well, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why is every day we can come out here, someone has to be wrote off? I think you jinxed us. Aye, 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 I jinxed you. I think you suppose jinxed us. I think aye. you jinxed us. It's all the way around. That's maybe under fear me, is it? I don't really notice them there now, maybe not be too bad. I don't want to hide your pretty face, no, you see that? No, no, you can't cut me, oh yeah. <laughs> Here's Brosnan, was in Bally Castle yesterday. Ah, oh, that's right, I thought I'd seen that here. That's, that's, that's the same situation, that's really. That's the same situation, you should be choosing that so rude for me. How was your first inter interview, Rachel? Great, unreal, loved it. What did you talk about? Everything. Just everything. Just covered, covered all bases. Just everything. Cost of living crisis. <laughs> <laughs> everything. At some point, did, did, did we complain that, that the farmers were making no money and everything's a wild price? Not yet. We'll try to keep that. That's for, like, for that's for like, the second interview. we have to put that in every single video, that. you know, that the farmers are poor. And we, but you have to acknowledge that Rachel is the dairy farmer, so it's her that's telling the people she's interviewing that they're making. Like, I, I got a man to tell me about how, you know, oh, the sheep, there's no money in sheep, and there's no money in the wild beef cattle, and all that good stuff. You know, standard operating yeah, procedure. Yeah. We'll get it next time, we'll get it next time. I asked Callum where the nickname Norris came out of, so that's Coronation Street apparently. Yes, yes. I, I find out the important things in life. Yeah. See the way Connor said he brought Evan Wayne there, he prepped the gear and all, and he was all, he was, he was ready for action and he was ready to go and nobody was ready to go in. Where you from? Mm-hmm. We're going home to left the harness, are we? Harness in there. Where is it? It's not in the front seat. I was looking the back oh. for it. Oh. Hi Lon, hi, oh, oh hi, hi Lon. Is this a John's never wrong? Thing. Oh, it's up below the big red coat, boys. The big lumberjack coat. That's up below the lumberjack coat. How was I supposed to see that? Red coat was keeping it warm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to Ryan putting on, you see. He'd be complaining. Yes, you're used to him pulling that off him rather than on, putting it on to him. Ryan would be complaining the harness is cold, he's not putting it on. <laughs> oh, I thought I had you there, lads. I thought I had you. <laughs> the only time I was beat, John, I wasn't there. How shouldn't you beat the other day there in a class? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm talking about that. Well, we're talking about your jigger driving skills, aren't we? No, we won't, no. <laughs> Man said you were rusty looking last night. I can never be rusty because I only spent half an hour in the digger before. <laughs> I thought I was doing alright. I think he was being polite, Connor. Yes. You don't need to video this, like. I thought it was for the content, John. That's all I've finished the vlog for the day. Uh, the one thing I didn't say was if you want to learn more about On The Pole or know where to buy the tickets for On The Pole, uh, just follow the links. It's in the description. It'll be in the big button at the end or if you go to www.farmflex.tv it'll all be linked up slash on the pole simple as that see you next time